ITB services and broadcasters, hospitals, ports, and financial institutions came to an abrupt halt. The global IT outage was caused by a disruption in the cloud services. Once the cloud-connected world came to a sudden stop, one technology took center stage. That was edge computing. What is edge computing? It's a means of processing data using the device that produces the information or using a nearby server instead of a centralized cloud server. Edge means the periphery, so data processing occurs close to the source of data or near the end user. Without the task of sending data to a central cloud and then receiving the processed data, data can be handled more quickly. With faster processing speed, edge computing proves useful in situations requiring swift decisions. Eliminating the need to send data to the center means a reduction in the cost for data transmission and storage. When all data are stored in a cloud, then the data centers become easy targets for hackers. But processing data at the edge without transmission to the cloud lowers the risk of data leakage. With cloud systems, a network error in the data center could cause an immediate stop in the device. Edge servers offer stable services of their own, unaffected by cloud network conditions. Recently, with the discovery of the limitations of cloud computing, edge computing has emerged as the core domain for real-time services. This is because of the tremendous increase in data that must be processed globally. As the Internet of Things continues to evolve and connect all sorts of devices that exchange data in real time, the volume of data to be processed has grown immensely. The rise of the world's largest metaverse platform, which has driven up the number of concurrent users, highlights the role edge computing could play. With thousands, even millions of users generating data simultaneously in real time, a solution for rapid processing of that data was needed. Cloud computing and edge computing clearly have pros and cons, but the choice is not between one or the other. The two systems are not mutually exclusive technologies, but are close to being complementary. They can compensate for each other's weaknesses. Our daily lives are filled with an abundance of data as we transmit the data and receive process data in return. Connected to cloud computing and edge computing ensures that our lives become faster, safer, and more convenient.